Hey everybody, it's Mr. McGraw. Today we're going to use some autumn rhythms to help us remember how to read our notes. The notes that we're going to be learning today or practicing are quarter notes, quarter rests, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. Let's take a look. We have quarter notes. Remember, quarter notes look like a dot with a stem. These are all quarter notes. Quarter notes last for one beat. So if you're snapping the beat, every snap is a quarter note. We also have eighth notes. Eighth notes look like this. They look just like a quarter note, but they have a colored in dot, a stem, and a beam, which will connect two or more eighth notes. The beam is what tells you that it's the eighth note. If you had only one eighth note, it would have a flag instead of a beam. Eighth notes are only half of a beat, so it takes two of them to make one beat. Also, we have 16th notes. 16th notes are even twice as fast as eighth notes. It takes four 16th notes to fill in a beat, or each individual 16th note is only a quarter of a beat. You'll notice that the 16th note has a dot, just like the quarter note, and a stem, just like the quarter note, and it has beams. Now an eighth note has only one beam, but a 16th note has two beams. Hopefully this is all review for you. Um, one last thing we need to point out is that we also have a quarter rest. A quarter rest looks kind of like a lightning bolt or a zigzag, and a rest, remember, is one beat of silence. So all of the notes that have dots, those are all sounds, but the rests are silence. So please repeat after me. Here's our beat. Repeat after me. Fall. Crisp air. Halloween. Acorns. Pumpkin picking. Leaves changing. Going back to school. Going on a hayride. Spooky jack-o'-lanterns. All right. So notice by the time we got to the bottom, when we were saying, going back to school, going on a hayride, spooky jack-o'-lanterns, whenever we had those 16th notes, they were pretty fast compared to the quarter notes up at the top. Let's try one more time, repeat after me, and then we'll try going all the way through. Here's our beat. Fall. Crisp air. Halloween. Acorns. Pumpkin picking. Leaves changing. Going back to school. Going on a hayride. Spooky jack-o'-lanterns. All right, now we're going to try reading all the way through. So don't repeat after me this time. Say it right with me. I'll snap the beat. I'll point to where we are. Say it to the correct rhythm. Here we go, set, now. Fall, crisp air, Halloween, acorns, pumpkin picking, leaves changing, going back to school, going on a hayride, spooky jack-o'-lanterns, one more time. Fall, crisp air, Halloween, acorns, Pumpkin picking, leaves changing, going back to school, going on a hayride, spooky jack-o'-lanterns, one more time, fall, crisp air, Halloween, acorns, pumpkin picking, leaves changing, going back to school, going on a hayride, spooky jack-o'-lanterns. All right, were you able to do it? Thumbs up if you were, good job. Okay, now it is time for our game where I'm going to see if you figured out which rhythms are which. So I'm going to play a rhythm on a drum and you have to guess which of these nine rhythms was I playing. Let's take a look, here we go. All right, take a look at the rhythms. Rhythm number one, what is this? A 
I'll play it again. Think of your guess. If you guessed pumpkin picking, you are correct. Nice job. Here's the next one. Here's our beat. Play it again. What do you think it is? If you guessed leaves changing, you were correct. Here comes the next one. Here's our beat. What rhythm was that? We had four sixteenth notes and a quarter note. That was going back to school. Nice job. Here's the next one. What's your guess? We had two eighth notes and a quarter note. If you guessed Halloween, you were correct. Halloween. Very good. All right. These next two are going to be tricky. Here's the first one. Here's our beat. What do you think? We had two beats. Each beat had one note. So we had two quarter notes. That one was crisp air. Not too tricky by itself, but now here's the next one. Here's our beat. What was that one? We also had two notes together, but these ones were faster. These ones were eighth notes because they were twice as fast as the beats. Instead of crisp air, we had acorns rest. Acorns. Hopefully you're able to figure out the difference between the crisp air and the acorns. Listen again. Crisp air sounds like this. Crisp air. And acorns is faster. Acorns. All right. Here comes the next one. Here's our beat. four times in a row. I'll put a pause in between this time. Here we go. What is this one? If you guessed spooky jack-o'-lanterns, you are correct. We had two eighth notes and then a four sixteenth notes. All right. Excellent work. Here comes the next one. Very difficult one. Here's our beat. That one had only one note. It was a quarter note followed by a rest, and that was fa. Hopefully you got it. Nice work. Here's the next one. What do you think it was? We had four fast 16th notes followed by two a little bit slower but still kind of fast 8th notes. We had going on a hay ride. Nice job. All right, now we're going to do the speed round. I'm going to play a rhythm. You guess what it is. Then we'll go on to the next one right away. Here it comes. Here's our beat. Leaves changing. Here's the next one. Hey, ride. Pump 
Those are our autumn rhythms. Hopefully you're able to read the quarter notes, the eighth notes, the sixteenth notes, and the rest. Nice work. See you next time.